would like to call tonight's meeting to order. Begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> to the flag of the United States of America, <coughs> to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And our first item, only item of business, is a review of the 2019 proposed town budget. And we do have some changes to discuss. Kim, would you like to start us off with that? What I did uh, from the last meeting that you had, the board had asked the departments to see if they could reduce their proposed 2019 budget by 0.6% and then remit what they came up with me and I would put the figures together for you into a spreadsheet so what I did was we have a couple I, I provided the original default and proposed with you on the spreadsheet which shows what the variance was um, the second item down with the 0.6 percent decrease only I have a little side note underneath that there was one department that did not respond I didn't receive anything from them that was the library um, their amount was $771. I didn't touch that. I know the board said that if they wanted to um, do that themselves, can could do that. Can I just uh, jump in there? So you said all the departments responded. Except, except for, for that. that. Um, so and then just can yes. we give a general thank you to all the departments because that was basically a week's notice and they responded. So that's great. Um, underneath that, there are a few departments <coughs> that it's really difficult to apply a full 0.6% decrease. Uh, for instance, one that I oversee is the personnel administration, and I'm not able to do that because that budget is based upon payroll, and we're not decreasing payroll by 0.6%, I don't believe. Um, Assessing is all contract, et cetera, et cetera. We also received um, on item number three, um, our insurance company, Primex, sent um, a notice to the town saying that due to a reduction in claim costs for the entire pool in New Hampshire, we were able to recoup a little bit of money for our 2019 premium. So we have a savings of $12,770.21, which allows us to reduce our insurance budget by that amount. And that would balance out the budget? Not quite. <coughs> if you took your original proposed versus default and incorporated just that insurance adjustment, the proposed 2019 budget would be $456 less than the default that budget. That was the 0.6? No, nope, that's just, no, nope, that's just so with the insurance. So if we stuck insurance. with the 0.6, we'd be below <coughs> 18's budget. If it was the 0.6% decrease only, the proposed 2019 budget would be $2,500 higher than the default. No, I meant with both of them. With the both of them. X and the 0 0.6. Yeah, you'd be $2,754 below the default budget. That's the number four. You follow? Mm -hmm. So we have a couple, we, we have some variables to look at. I was trying to make it kind of a, a simple, simplified snapshot instead of, I, I did give you some, you know, spreadsheets of A, B, and <coughs> C if you wanted to look at individual budgets. But I, I was trying to keep it simple for just a quick overview and then we can delve into it if you want. And did anybody come back and say that six point would hurt them? 
The ones that many people. The ones. Yeah, everybody people, really. really. I think <coughs> I think the thing we can't lose sight of though is most of our department heads the ones I heard from, and they say this all the time, it's like, we'll do what you want to do. We understand they're team players, but at the same time, they don't like it. So, uh, which I think is very fair because um, in some of these departments, 0 0.6 is a significant number. And the way, and the voters should understand, <clears throat> the way we run these departments, it's actually kind of ridiculous how shoestring we run these budgets, but that's what the voters essentially tell us we have to do. So that's how we do it. But it's, we're talking about a 0.6%, make sure we don't, it's not 6%, it's 0.6% challenge we gave to these departments. And some of them are gonna feel that. Like that's, that's crazy when you think about it. But we understand that the voters are gonna see a default and a proposed and you know, they tend to vote with their wallet. So, end of the soapbox there, but that's yeah. kind of. Yeah. In the light of the climax reduction, I would need to re restore the budgets to where they should be, which is still minimal, and go with a proposed budget for the public hearing of three million. $341,078. Do I have a second? Second. <coughs> and the difference would be the 456 default, correct? Even that, I quite honestly at this point would be willing to give to the department that actually could probably use it. No, 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 the 456 is that the much more. That's right. No, um, that, that, that's how much more the default is over, over exactly. the proposed. I mean, at some point we're going to hit the wall where continually trying to take the proposed budget below the default budget, we are more than just scraping the bottom of the barrel. I mean, this is shoestrings of fat compared to what, what's in this budget. Kind of, can I speak? I kind of like having the $456 in the default more than the budget because it keeps them separate and there's no confusion of what number is which when you're doing your accounting and your DRA numbers and stuff. Mm -hmm. and $456 is nothing. It's not going to make a difference, I don't think. But yeah, and, and it kind of <coughs> separates the two is what I'm thinking. And it's only a 7,000 increase over last year's budget. So, that means the which means we're actually expending um, less other than payroll. Correct. So I totally, <coughs> I'm not gonna say totally, I mostly agree with what, what Jim said and what Nancy said, but it still comes down to the reality of the situation. What does Wednesday morning look like when somebody votes, or not somebody, the, uh, the <coughs> we end up with a default budget? Oh, actually, on that Wednesday morning, we'd end up with $456 more than. Yeah, but all the contractual, well, I don't know if they're contractual, but a lot of y your focus is mostly on your operating budget. That's where all the numbers are that we need. The That's default is a little bit different than what I'm the saying. operating budget is, and it would be moving things around a lot, I think. Right, Kim? To, uh, to make them work. Kim, one question for you. Yes. Um, regarding that last item, the remove internet, reduce maintenance. Is that on top of the 0.6? That incorporate, no. The 0.6 <coughs> was not able to be um, applied in this circumstance. It was, w what was able to be done was to take out the internet service from that budget and put it into general government buildings. Nancy and I had 
discussed, um, we're trying to go through budgets to find out. We're all kind of through Comcast. Some are coming out of general government. Some are coming out of other individual budgets. Maybe they all ought to come out of general government, just to be fair. Um, so that was taking out the 1,200 out of there. Um, reducing the vehicle maintenance by 1,000. That was proposed by the department head. And then doing that final adjustment, um, which in was an increase. All right. Um, any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Nay. Nay. I would, however, like to follow up with a motion to accept the third option, the 0.6% decrease insurance adjustment in revised budgets with a 2019 proposed of $3,338,621. Second. Discussion? I'm sorry, I can't put forward. <coughs> We're literally going backwards, and I realize that it's <coughs> only a few thousand dollars. But for the past five years, we have produced proposed budgets that were below the default out of fear. If we as a board of selectmen cannot justify Minimal increases as the original proposed budget we feel was. Then, quite honestly, we probably shouldn't be sitting at this table. I mean, the $12,000 increase that we were looking at would have cost the average house owner at least $3. The way I see it is if a department absolutely could not do the 0.6%, they would have come back and told us so, just like uh, this one department did. Because they were able to go back and <coughs> do it. Just so the people out there in video land know, we're talking about taking $31 away from the Board of Appeals. Yes, minor things like that, they can survive, however, they suddenly need to do another case like they did this year with legal fees. That thousand dollars, their budget is completely gone. Um, we took eighteen dollars out of Terry Trees. <coughs> Jim, we, 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 we are trimming this so tight that, quite honestly. There is no room on the new building. <coughs> Jim, you're kind of preaching to the choir as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you, you talked about doing it out of fear. I'm, that's me. I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of uh, we don't, unfortunately, we don't do this in a bubble. There are two ballots that voters get on, on town meeting day, and we unfortunately live I'll say it at the mercy of the other ballot. And the other ballot, I think we have on, I don't think they voted yet, but I think we have on good authority that there's going to be a significant jump in that budget. Uh, yeah, the other <coughs> ballot, just the operating budget, is representing over $400 per household, average household increase in their taxes. Exactly. And if we could somehow get to every voter, and make them realize that that is, and, and I'm kind of doing it this way, that is different, that's a different pocket. This budget is the town budget, that's the school budget. But people don't see it that way. So what happens, unfortunately, and this is where the fear comes in, is people say no on that ballot and they just keep going down and they're gonna say no to ours. Even though you're absolutely right, would you say a, a 40 cents per, what, what did you say for, for our, with the $12,000 in, it's gonna cost the average? It would cost $3 more on the average. Exactly, yeah. Household. We're looking at the, that other ballot being over $400 more on the exactly. average household. Exactly. And quite, quite honestly, not to get quote from media, but there'll be a hue and cry saying that that is necessary. Right. And we're sitting here going, okay, 
how, you know, somebody's losing a box of paper clips and eraser and some elastic beam. <coughs> yeah. That hopefully we'll be able to get, you know, maybe the bank will have free pens. The We're deducting from the people that you're expecting to save our lives, put our house out if it's on fire. Yeah. Protect us. Preach into the choir. Well, no, I preach it preach into the camera because yeah, right, we right, should right. be making this yeah. an obvious statement to the public to rally around the fact that we are continually going backwards. Mm -hmm. Salaries are, are increasing minimally. Stuff costs more. Right. So we're going to, we are literally on a <coughs> downward, downward spiral that will produce a day when we, something happens in town mm -hmm. and we will have to strip every penny out of everybody's budget in order to cover an increase. And I just, we're supposed to be, you know, be responsible for the prudent management of the town. Mm -hmm. It's not prudent if you choose not to do something and cross your fingers that nothing happens. <coughs> so the idea of reducing the budget even further below is a fault. I mean, right at the moment, I'm supporting the fault. Can we just vote on that for <coughs> option three, right? Yeah, but the way I see this is there are essentially eight departments that were unable to meet the 0.6 decrease request of the board. And one didn't respond, so we're assuming they <laughs> couldn't meet it. And the other ones responded and said they couldn't meet it. The rest of the departments did not come back and say, we can't do that, there's no room in our budget for it. That tells me there was room in their budget for it, which is why I'm supporting the amount that I proposed. Quite honestly, the police reduction, they did reduce, their, they were not able to meet their full point, 0.6%. The fire department did, though that is one area with the new building. <coughs> we find ourselves in the red with the fire department facility ex expenses <coughs> of a new station. Um, I just, I caution us from being too stingy. You know, when I just, right at the moment, I'm, I'm supporting and I'll encourage people to support the default budget. All right. Larry, because do you have any uh, additional comments? I like the option three. To 456. All right. Well, we actually have the, bo the bottom one on the table. Do you have any that other comments about that? All right. So um, I'm going to call for all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. It'll be a long night. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to suggest to the chairman. Madam Chair, sorry. There is, um, if we can somehow raise Selectman Donovan on the phone, you as the chairperson can allow him to vote over the phone. He doesn't have these pap this paperwork. How is he going to know? We can take a recess and okay. chat with him. I agree. Um, anyone have any objection? All right, so I am calling a recess to see if we can get a hold of our other board member. And that's at 622. <coughs> TV is going to go off, right?